We often say to our Labradors, who's a good girl? Or, who's a good boy? But what if you could hear your dog's thoughts, and they said to you, who's my favorite person? Dogs are like members of a big team, sort of like how kids are in a classroom. They figure out who's the leader, who's in the middle, and who's at the bottom. But this order can change, and you can become one of the top pals. Let's check out how labs decide who they like best. A lab's favorite person is the one who gives them the most high-quality time and attention. It's the person who shares the most positive energy and shows they genuinely care. Lab's favorite people are associated with the most positive experiences, especially experiences of love, shelter, and comfort. They love someone who can make a bad situation better or spend time with them doing something they enjoy. In a lab's mind, this person equals fun, safety, affection, and other good things. Who wouldn't want to be around a person like that? Bonding occurs naturally in dogs and humans. It's okay when dogs choose a favorite person. In fact, it's natural. As social animals, dogs choose the person or people who give them plenty of love, attention, and positive experiences. Let your dog be a dog and enjoy hanging out with and being in that person's presence, whether it's you or someone else. But don't give up on being one of the favorites. Dogs are pack animals. They will place us in a hierarchy, and they'll know where everybody fits in. It's how they make sense of their world. That order is not necessarily set in stone, though. If you're not yet on the favorite human list, there are things you can do to change that. Paying attention and providing affection to your Labrador. It's easy to understand that dogs choose the people who give the most attention, affection, and one-on-one -on -one time. High quality is key here. If your dog spends hours in someone's presence, but that person ignores them most of the time, that time won't matter. The favorite is the person who makes them feel safe and secure and gives them a warm, fuzzy feeling. This is the person whom they will follow around the house like a shadow. While it's often the person who feeds and walks them and gives them toys and treats, it's more about the emotion that goes with those actions than the act of basic maintenance. Every dog has their unique personality, just like we do. And as we choose our best friends with similar personalities and energy levels, so do dogs choose compatible people. For example, a cautious, indoor dog will gravitate toward a person who leads a quiet life. Dogs such as greyhounds, pugs, and basset hounds tend to be compatible with introverted personalities. A person who runs marathons and goes hiking every weekend will be more appealing to a higher energy dog breed. Extroverted personalities match well with Labradors, Golden Retrievers, Bernese Mountain Dogs, and Jack Russell Terriers. Further, breeds such as Beagles, Dachshunds, and Doberman Dogs tend to bond with one single person. Dogs can sense our emotions, so anyone who is often anxious or nervous can unintentionally push them away. The first six months of a Labrador's life are the key socialization period. The people they encounter in those months can largely determine who they bond with later in life. If, for example, a puppy spends most of their time with men, it may be harder to bond with women later. Likewise, if mistreated by a man who always wore a hat or smelled a certain way, they may be wary of a similar person. It's important to socialize puppies with a variety of people to avoid this issue. You can still socialize an adult dog, but it will take more time and care and lots of treats. How can I become my lab's favorite person? Maybe the pooch was your spouse's before you married, and they were already bonded to your spouse. Maybe when you and your family members come home, the dog immediately darts over to your 10-year-old daughter. If you also want that kind of bond, here are a few things you can try. Your dog has favorite things. Trips to the dog park? Chasing a tennis ball? A specific toy? Whatever it is, spend time doing that with your dog. Do things that match your lab's energy level, whether it involves running around a hiking trail or agility course, playing a game of fetch, or cuddling on the sofa while you watch a movie. On a regular basis, feed the dogs their meals, take them for their walks, give them a new toy or two, or be the provider of brushing, petting, and belly rubs. Generally, take care of their basic needs. Yes, bribe your dog, shamelessly. Be consistent with these things, and your chances of making the favorite person list will increase. Be patient, though. Some dogs take longer than others to bond with people.